Hello, my name is Jamie W. Curtis. I'm currently the county commissioner for the third district and I'm running for re-election. Uh, tonight I want to thank the League of Women Voters for having this tape session so that you the voters can make up your decision as to who the best candidate is for the county commission. I will answer four questions. The first one is how do you perceive the responsibilities of the County Board of Commissioners to the citizens of their district and county as a whole? When you take the oath of office, you're charged with two things. To be administrator of all of the appointed department heads of the county, which is 34, and to be a legislator, to make ordinance and laws that govern at the county level for local communities. And having said that, that's, it's the whole job of the County Board of Commissioners to oversee the budget of all the departments, to work with the co-electeds, there's five of them. They're the clerk, treasurer, drain commissioner, and uh, register of deeds and clerk is, is uh, combined on this time around. The county board did that to save money because other counties were doing it. As a county commissioner, which boards would you want to serve on and why? I want to continue to serve as a chairman. The last three years I've been the chairman of the board, I've been there six years. And as a chairman of the county board of commissioners, I sit on all boards. All boards come to me. They all have their chairmans and their vice chairs, but I have a pulse on the whole county and everything that's going on. So I want to continue in that capacity. I think my record speaks well for my leadership. When I took office in January 2010, Genesee County was near broke. And today we have at near $12 million, we have a balanced budget, and $12 million in the fund balance. So leadership that's working. So I would, would like to continue in that role. The county continues to face declining revenues. What are your budget priorities? Very simple. You have to fund mandated services first. And that means the sheriff is mandated by law to run the county jail. So we have to fund him at the level of service that he can keep his staff and those prisoners safe. That's a mandated service. The clerk needs to be funded at a mandated service as well as treasure and the deeds is now part of the clerk. So those are mandated services as well as a prosecutor that too has to be funded so that that's a fluid of service and all of the services are met. And most times they're at a reduced level but still a serviceable level. And what a serviceable level is, is the amount that you can afford. We have to give you a county government that you can afford because the taxable revenue has declined by more than 30% in this county. 3.5 billion on the assessed side and hundreds of millions on the taxable side, about 30%. What changes, if any, in the structure of county government would I recommend at this current time, none. And the reason for that is because constitutionally we are designed by the state constitution. And I am the chairman of a board of nine. I'm elected by my peers. I'm elected in my district by the same way as my colleagues are by district. And there's nine districts in the county. In order to go to an executive type of government, it would be a vote of the people. That was tried and turned down many years ago back in the 80s and 90s, I believe it was. To go to a county manager, that's almost a million dollars. By the time you do a county manager, a salary benefits the staff included for those people. And so that at this time, it would be an extra burden and expense on county government when you have county government, leadership is working. My record shows that you can look at, at January 2010 when I come in office as the chairman, we were down to within 5 million, 3.5 of that was dedicated revenue debt service. In March, we got our audit back and we were in the red another million too. When you subtract that out, we had about 600,000 to our name. By the end of the year, we brought it back to a little over $11 million. And within the three years of my leadership as chairman, we have maintained that fund balance and had a balanced budget, a truly balanced budget each and every year. I want to thank you again. 
and thank the League of Women Voters. Thank you.